Hello, dear visitors, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Peter Albers. I'm chair of the Department of Urology in Düsseldorf and happen to be chair of the scientific office of the EAU. So I would like to report on the last day of this meeting in Amsterdam some of the highlights, at least for me, um, and the scientific office selected several abstracts for game-changing, practice-changing, and I would like to start with, I think, one of the most important trials of this meeting, which is the randomized trial in robotic versus open cystectomy from Jim Cato in UK. It was a multi-center trial, and Arno Stenzel, the upcoming general secretary of the EAU, has commented on this. Uh, I think, first of all, it's they are to be congratulated that they really performed a trial in the surgical setting in such a difficult disease with two different techniques. The end point was um, how long are patients in hospital um, from the one or the other procedure? And it was a significant difference towards um, the robotic approach. Um, Arnulf Stenzel went into details of this trial. Uh, first of all, the difference was in absolute numbers, two days of a 90-day observation period. So this was significant, but uh, well, everyone can judge whether this endpoint is really clinically applicable. And the other comment I have is um, that the number of surgeries done per surgeon uh, was still rather low. So it comes down to centralization. It comes down to um, performing the surgery very often. And um, still, I think this trial um, has shown that robotic surgery has um, benefit for patients and this transfers into shorter, survival, sh shorter hospital stay. Um, so I think it was very important to see this trial. The second abstract I would like to refer to is a randomized trial from Italy um, regarding a very important topic. Should we do combination biopsies, so target, MRI target, and systemat systematic biopsies or, system or targeted biopsies alone? Um, still, the question is unanswered. And uh, the group from Professor Popilia from uh, Torino, they randomized patients. Um, finally, the interpretation of the trial was that there's no difference. The trial, however, was not powered for non-inferiority to say this. And a very good comment from Jochen Walz, one of our SEO members, was actually the difference was 8% that you found clinically, clinically significant cancers in systematic biopsies, which is not very much different what we know from precision and other trials. So I think um, the, the interpretation of this trial as not practice changing um, is correct. However, it, they are congratulated to run such a trial in a very short time, recruitment time. So I think this is a value addition to the literature. Then I would like to refer to two other abstracts um, from another continent. So Declan Murphy and his group from Melbourne presented the lutectomy trial and they had a subgroup analysis um, on the primary trial. Both trials are dealing with a new kind of imaging, which is a PSMA um, uh, image. Um, the indication um, to use PSMA not only as image tool, but also as treatment was, um, was actually investigated in the lutectomy trial. It was kind of groundbreaking to give a drug before neoadjuvant radical prostatectomy. And this actually is um, a first view a glance into the future. It was only 10 patients, but obviously the reason to do so is uh, some of those patients will get micrometastatic disease and metastasize in the, in the future. So whether lutetium PSMA before radical prostatectomy will help or not, this will be further investigated um, in an extension of this trial. And primary, this is a pure diagnostic trial, was, what we, which was published last year, but this year we saw the subgroup analysis. That has shown, I think this is still an important information, in the primary staging of prostate cancer patients, PSMA and MRI um, have a synergistic effect. So MRI and PSMA alone had a sensitivity of about 80%. It was increased to 93% if you combine both techniques. Whether this is feasible, whether this is cost-effective, this is not the question. But to have a more precise imaging at this point in time, I think is very crucial. So I would end up, these are, for me, the highlights for surgery and imaging. And um, I was very happy uh, to guide this Congress here. Thanks a lot.